So yeah, he said we was walking through his farm. So he then guided us and he told us, hey, come this way, come this way. And then he said that there's cobras. Many leeches, you are looking. Many leech. leech. I think we're okay, no? Yeah. Sometimes this time or the how many snakes. Snakes. So she's even cutting the coconut for us so we can eat it as well. Super kind. Hey, I'm Kieran and this is my better half Maddie. We both decided to leave the UK at the start of 2023 to follow our dreams and go travelling full time. This is our Sri Lanka series. What's happening guys? So we've just checked into our new accommodation. We're due to be here for the next 10 nights in Ella. We may even extend if we get on well with it. It's good just to sort of settle down and base ourselves for a bit longer because we like to sort of travel quite slow. So it's really nice and it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, it's um, 10 minutes out of the center. So we're surrounded by nature, monkeys literally roaming around everywhere. But yeah, I'll let you have a look and give you a nice tour of where we're staying. This is the beautiful view that we get from our room. Then this is our little balcony and this is where we're probably going to be having our breakfast. Then you come in, you have to take your shoes off. Then this is bedroom. And then there is another bed just in case Kieran needs to go into the dog house. And then a nice little bathroom and everything we need. So yeah, this is our home for the next uh, night. <laughs> So we're about to head out now. We just enjoyed a delicious Sri Lankan breakfast. There was plenty of food on the table. Uh, we didn't manage to get through it all, but it was really nice. We've got a few things to do this morning. So we're going to get some laundry done and then head to the scooter shop once more. And um, they gave us a scooter that wasn't working. So we took it back, they swapped it. And even this one, we're having a few issues with. So I think they're giving us uh, the first scooter back that they've took to the garage and hopefully it's working now. But once we've sorted all that, I think we'll go out, do a bit of exploring today and maybe do a walk and get out in the nature in Ella. This check my laundry, this good there. Yeah? Good laundry, yeah? Yes, okay. and I want to say with this uh, Google map. What is it called? Ella Laundry Service. Yes. Yeah. So we got four kilos uh, laundry and that's 500 per kilo. So 2,000 in total, which is a good price. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we just came to Cafe Chill. Um, to get a tea and have a juice and update, uh, well, put out our first video, which is pretty exciting. Um, so we're just going to enjoy this and then we'll probably head. Where are you going to go in? I think we need to get some walking done today. So yeah. I think we're going to try and do the um, Ella Rock. So we're just on our way to Ella Rock. We got all our laundry sorted this morning. So we paid 2,000 rupees for 4 kg, so 500 per 1 kg, which seems pretty reasonable because yeah. a few places quoted uh, 600 per kg. Yeah, we did negotiate a little bit because we had quite a bit. Um, yeah. But hopefully they come out, the colour is supposed to come out. Oh yeah, God, too right. And then uh, we went to the scooter rental shop and they gave us our first scooter back, which was good. So they say it's all fixed. So fingers crossed it stays that way but yeah we're excited to take this walk there seems to be a few places to stop like waterfalls etc on the way yeah. so we're yeah we're just walking on a train track at the moment yeah and um, i hope there will be if the, if the train does come i hope there's some sort of signal because <laughs> this doesn't seem exactly safe yeah definitely although although the ella odyssey goes slow you definitely don't want to get hit by it um yeah, we found out actually the other day someone someone died on it, uh, and the third class part someone fell out and and died. So yeah, yeah it's pretty I think scary. the third class train. So a lot of people just turn up at the train station and they don't book their tickets. So third class gets really really busy and loads of people like loads of tourists want to take photos and it's very crowded. 
Um, and I think the local person was there and Hello. got Hello. pushed out. Hello. Yeah, Sorry, he got yeah. pushed out of the train and yeah, he died. Very scary. That is pretty sad, but yeah, fingers crossed it's a nice walk and uh, we see some nice views. So we just stopped for a bit of half-time refreshments. <laughs> so we just bumped into this lovely lady who made us two delicious coconuts. Super refreshing. Thank you. Stuti. Stuti. <laughs> <laughs> so she's even cutting the coconut for us so we can eat it as well. Super kind. This is what one thing we really have loved about the Sri Lankan people. They do go that little bit further and they're so kind. Bye! So we continued walking to Ella Rock until this man approached us and said we can't go this way due to many cobras along this path. So we took his advice and started following him along a so-called safer route. We was walking and we went, I think we went the wrong way slightly and uh, this Sri Lankan guy, I think he was, well, he said we were walking through his farm. Hello. And uh, so, yeah, he said we was walking through his farm. So he then guided us and he told us, hey, come this way, come this way. And then he said that there's cobras this one way, yeah, don't we go this way. About following him for about 10 minutes. And then yeah. he, starts, he was like, oh, there's a lot of cobras. And obviously I panic. And then he obviously could see how much I panicked. And he tried to guide us all these different ways and I was like, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I'm going to carry on this way. So he kept taking us around all of these different ways. And it's really hard to say, was he really trying to help us? Or, or was he trying to like take us and kind of take us all the way there? Yeah. Um, as a guide and then get us to pay. Yeah. You know, it's very hard because like we, obviously we want to trust everyone but you still have to be really cautious. Yeah, we don't want to jump to conclusions because he may not have been doing that but when we went to the restaurant uh, that we just passed and we said hey, which way should we go? He pointed the way that we was initially going and then we told him that uh, one of the locals just said plenty of cobras this way and he said no, not many cobras at all so it just makes you think but we're back on the right track now. So we've made it up to Ella Rock and it's like being back in England. We're under shelter currently. It's overcast, there's a lot of rain. So we're just waiting and seeing if the view improves because at the moment it's just completely cloudy. So the rain has just about gone. It's a bit overcast still, but we're just heading over to the first peak. There are two peaks here but we're not going to go to the second peak because the weather's just not the best and we've got you know a few weeks here so we'll come back and um, try and catch it on a better day but this is what we're seeing at the moment there's muddy absolutely freezing though yeah um but yeah we're the only the good thing is everyone's gone and we're the only people here very true um, and actually it's cleared up quite a lot so we can see a lot more than we thought yeah, it's just really cold, but maybe if we wait a little bit longer, we can, we can see a little bit better. But yeah, as Kieran said, I think we're going to have to come back one day when it's a really, really good weather. I think we missed by like an hour. Yeah. Um, but at least we're going to see this way as well, which is good. Exactly. So we're back on the train track now, so we're not too far from our homestay. Although it wasn't the clearest of views up there, it was still definitely worth it. And we'll probably go back there again another day and hopefully catch it on a clearer day. Yeah, definitely. Also, whilst we were waiting for the rain to stop, um, we met a lovely Sri Lankan couple. They were also on vacation here. They live actually in Colombo. Um, but yeah, they were just here and they gave us so many tips with like what to eat, so they said they will send us a good list of things to do and things to try. So yeah, it's super lovely. Like, it's amazing. Yeah, it's nice to chat and get some information from the locals. Yeah, and you can ask a lot of questions like, 
that you you know not everyone speaks brilliant English but their English is very good um, so yeah you can ask a lot of questions about like the country and places to eat things to do hello. so it's hello. Okay. hello good, good how, how are you, are you? Oh, I'm good many leaders you are looking many leaders I think we're okay no yeah sometimes this time or the how many snakes snakes yeah okay we'll be careful we'll be careful video. okay video yeah we we'll be careful. Thank you. No Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Careful, but you can go talking about Yeah. Some yeah. Latvia. Latvia. Too many Latvia. Yeah, yeah. Latvia. And Hello. Latvia and England. You yeah. probably know this one. Latvia. Yeah. Latvia. Joss Good. Butler. Good Joss Butler. Yeah. I'm like I'm like Kumar Sangakara. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. I play. I played in Kandy. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. Yeah, yeah. Big hitter, sixes. <laughs> I can't say this uh, or the old uh, or the ball or not or the come in the bath. Yeah, yeah. And good ball and good bedding. Yeah, like Hasaranga. Hasaranga, yeah. 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 Hasaranga, yeah. Arjuna. Yeah. And good spay. Yeah. This mask and Hasaranga day after yesterday is married. Really? Yeah. Oh. oh, really? That's so cool. That's so right. cool. See you later, guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> So we've just stopped in at a super cool restaurant for lunch. We did walk past it when we was on the way up to Ella Rock and we thought it looked really nice. So we've just come in now. It's about half four, so it's a late lunch today. Um, but the Sri Lankan couple we walked back with mentioned that we should try milk rice with Luna Maris. So that is what I've ordered. Maddie, you've gone for... Vegetable curry. Vegetable curry. So it should be here fairly soon. So we're excited because we're both really hungry right now. Okay, so the food has finally come. I went for the uh, vegetarian curry. You can see it's been freshly made. It took a long time, but that's because it is so freshly made. Um, so yeah, I've got that. And then I also having some Luna Maris with it. So yeah, let's give it a go. So Luna Maris apparently is very, very spicy. So let's try it. Mm. Coconutty. Mm. That is so hot. Oh my god. Hot. Oh. Very good. Mm. And I have gone for the recommendation so milk rice with Luna Maris, which according to Maddie is very spicy. And this is the coconut sambal, isn't it? Yeah. So coconut sambal as well. So I'm looking forward to trying this because both of them said it was what they uh, enjoy the most. So I'm going to probably try the coconut sambal first. Even the rice has a kick to it. But it's good. Yeah, it's really good. The... The milk rice, because of the milk, is really moist. So a few of the rice dishes I've had so far have been quite dry, but because it's milk rice, it's uh, quite moist, which is nice. Right, guys, so we're off out now. We're going to go pick up our laundry from the centre. It should be ready uh, for when we get there. And we had quite a late lunch uh, today, as you know, so we'll probably maybe get a drink and then get a little street food possibly for dinner I don't think we'll have anything too big but we might get something before we head back first stop to get our laundry so we now have 4 kg more worth of clean laundry which puts a massive smile on Maddie's face yeah at least we got some pants this evening we went to a local bar had a drink played some pool and a, and a game that we've never played before, so that was pretty fun. Just finishing off with a late dinner, I've got some vegetable and egg roti, and Maddie's gonna take a plain roti back home. So we have made it back to our lovely accommodation here in Ella. It was a bit of an eventful ride home, I must say. As we were passing one of the houses, one of the dogs outside literally started sprinting after us for about 50 meters. Maddie thought she was gonna have a leg bitten off at one point but we have made it here all in one piece. We are absolutely shattered now, so I think we're gonna finish the video off here, but don't forget to like and subscribe to follow on for more videos on this beautiful country. Samuganava.